Second round, round one. Here we go, first round of our third contest on before the bell. In the blue corner, Paddy Lacey in with Owen Kirk in the black shorts on the back foot. Paddy Lacey holding centre ring and an impressive start to his career so far. Barry, 9 0 now, moving along nicely. Oh, yeah, no, he started off very, very good. Nice, nice start. The hands always high, a good rhythm to his work. So it's a nice little left hook to the body, doesn't he? To throw the jab, hooks off it then, dips down to the body quite well. So there's been a lot to, lot to like with AC. Boxed last month, being experienced Mexican Fernando Valencia. Grand Central Hall here in Liverpool, winning comfortably. Speaking to him, like I say, Thursday, just wants to be active, wants to be busy. Good left hook there from his nice sharp. Not much weight in it, but a good counter. Quick reactions. Yeah, come in the pro game, pretty inexperienced, like you say, so learning on the job. Um, nine fights in, but in a decent fight here against a guy with a winning record. Three wins, one loss, and two draws, so it could be a good fight. Yeah, he's tough, he's naturally aggressive, Kirk. Likes to push forward on the front foot, though. He's being pushed back here by Paddy Lacey. Back in Kirk into the red corner. Oh, it's a nice lovely shot. left to the body. Beautiful shot from Paddy Lacey. Right under that right elbow of Kirk. No, I don't think he's going to make the count. What a spot. What a finish from Paddy Lacey. That's how you entertain your local fans who have come out in their hundreds. It's that angle he gets on the shot. It's, it's the one that just lifts the diaphragm, isn't it? He gets on behind the elbow, he lifts it up with it. And I don't think there's not a lot of weight today, but there's acceleration in the punch, and that, that gives you that, that, like, that little jabbing, stabbing feel. You know what they like, Dan? We, we've all been put down with those. <laughs> and they're, Horrible. They're hard to get up from, aren't they? They are, Gary. Impressive display there. We've had two lightning fast finishes this evening, and that one was impressive. Really liked that one. He picked that shot lovely, just watching it back here on the screen, boy. He was very, very patient. Seeing that shot really nice. Picked out that left hook. Well, what nice. a shot. That beautiful, wasn't it, Barry? You know Taps up, stairs yes. to the right and drops to the, the body. The, 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 the most important part of that combination, ironically, is not the left hook to the body. It's that tap with the oh, right hand, isn't it? Yeah. It takes the emphasis when, you, when you're in a defensive mode, especially the shell-like defense that he had there, Kirk, with the hands around the eyes. You can't really see. You feel rather than see. So once you feel a shot there, you, do, you forget about your left side, your right side, sorry. You protect your left side, and then that right and now that allows Kirk to throw that lovely left uppercut. He was joking at the press conference, uh, saying that everyone's saying that he can't really punch. He's not a puncher. Well, he's rubbish, that right there. And I've always thought that with these so-called non-punchers. If you get caught round the body, doesn't matter if you can whack or not, you'll drop your opponent. Well, we said at the very start of the round, though, you know, he usually does it off the jab, doesn't he? He'll, he'll hook off the jab quite well. Because he's tall, he sort of brings that right shoulder over his left knee and gets really good angle and leverage with that left hook to the body. And he does it quite well. Them shots then is not so much about power, but more about placement. So when you pick them out, there's not much that you can do about them. So you've got to accelerate and a shot on you because it's got to hit you. Ladies and, and gentlemen, really referee fast. Steve Gray calls a halt to this contest. He reaches the count of 10 of 1 minute and 40 seconds of round number one, declaring a winner by knockout. He's still undefeated. Patty Power Lacey. Paddy moves on to 10 and 0 as a professional and you could say that's his best performance to date. Straight out, pushing Kirk on the back foot, who, like I say, likes to, to be the aggressor usually, but he wasn't allowed. And it's a beautiful 